this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm looking at The Hunted from GMT Games. The Hunted is the third title in GMT's sort of submarine series, or the fourth one that came out this year is Beneath the Med. And all of these games are in a genre of war game that, even though I'm a big war game fan, I've actually never dived into, which is games that center around kind of taking a ship or a boat or a airplane squadron uh, through a series of engagements and sort of narratively seeing if they survive and making tough choices. So in this case, The Hunted takes place in the tail end of World War II, and you control a uh, German U-boat, and there's a previous title called The Hunters, which was in the earlier part of the war, where U-boats were more powerful and more feared. But in this case, we're kind of the underdogs uh, trying to survive in a sea that is not very friendly to us anymore. And I'm going to take you through one career in the game. And I'll note this is the first time I'm filming it, but I might not use some of this footage because this game is super deadly. Like, I've had games of this where I died in my first patrol, which would mean the playthrough would be about four minutes long. So, uh, if that happens, I'll probably just film again and try a different game. But this is our first attempt, so we'll see how we do. I'm going to quickly go through some basics of setup and how the game kind of flows, but I'll explain specific rules as they come up, because there's a lot of edge cases here, and a lot of them you'll never see in a given game. And if you like the content here on the One Stop Co-op Shop, please consider supporting us through Patreon, subscribe to our channel for more videos. Join the conversation on our Slack or Discord, and listen to our podcast on Sundays. So to get into setup, you're going to pick a sub, and they have a whole bunch of different types, including ones that were like super rarely used in the war, but I picked a fairly typical one, a Type 7B. And right off the bat, there's some random things you have to roll for that you have to kind of search through the rulebook for. So the first one is I have the potential to immediately be promoted. Basically, I'm starting at a higher rank. Oh, and I actually got it. A 5 or 6 means I'm the second rank in the game instead of the first. I'm going to switch this out. So I'm now a Capitan Lieutenant, which uh, really all that means is I have a chance of requesting my mission each patrol, so I could uh, request a safer one. I'm going to start my crew off as trained. That's kind of the basic level, not good or bad. And based on the sub I picked, I might have a deck gun or not, but the thing is the uh, German command was taking those away anyway, so I have to roll before each of my patrols. Oh, and I actually kept it. So I will have a deck gun for now. If I rolled a one through four, it would have immediately been replaced with more flak to fend off uh, enemy planes and such. So with that being the case, it's pretty faint here, but it says I have 10 ammo, so I'm going to put that there. And the next big thing is my torpedo loadout. There's a whole little thing here, and what it says is how many G7E fats and a G7A fats I have. Uh, A's are steam, they're blue, and E's are electric. The only major difference is the steam ones are more accurate from long range, but they give a telltale sign when they're shot in the daytime. So uh, the electric ones are a little bit safer to shoot, but a little bit harder to hit with at range. For this particular sub, I also get a couple of homing torpedoes that are a little bit easier to hit with, even in bad conditions. And I get to make two choices here. First of all, I can switch some of my blue steam ones into electric, or vice versa. And I actually like the steam ones better, so I'm going to switch one of these aft torpedoes to be steam. And then I load my five torpedo tubes. My uh, aft torpedo tube has to come from my aft reloads my forward for my forward reloads, and I can reload again between combats and encounters, so it's not like a major, major choice right now, but I do tend to like my steam ones, so let's uh, go ahead and go with my best stuff. Let's even throw my homing torpedoes in there, because uh, sometimes you only have one encounter the entire time you're out on patrol. I also place my hull damage token right here, because I don't have any hull damage yet, same with flooding. And any sub after 1942 was outfitted with the bold system, which is kind of like a little decoy thing that might help me escape ships. So I uh, have three of those on this sub. And uh, because we're starting in 1943, all games of the hunted start in, I think, July of 1943, we're going to have that. But the snorkel system and the naxo system, both those are coming later. So I don't have those upgrades yet. And then finally, just about done, I put the little token representing my sub in port. I'll be moving out soon once I find out my mission for patrol. And my current base is France. That's always going to be the case if you're starting in uh, 1943, unless you're uh, a couple of special subs that might be in the Arctic or something like that. And besides getting all your charts and reference sheets ready, that's it. I'm uh, ready to go with my career. Well, I should say we're about to go. I should name my boat, shouldn't I? So I'm going to call my U-boat Doomed, because that's how the game tends to go, and I fully expect to be blown up pretty quickly. And I'll say my name is uh, Commandant Explosion, because either I'll be blowing up ships or I'll be getting blown up myself, maybe both. Now to go through the general structure of play, you're going to go through a series of patrols, and uh, each one will have a different destination, and while you're there you might find some enemy ships that you can blow up, 
And the goal of the game to kind of increase your victory is to destroy as much tonnage of ships as possible. So the more big, like, freighters and tankers you blow up, the better for you as a U-boat captain. After each patrol, you're going to have one or more months of refitting for your boat, more if you get heavily damaged. So you'll have uh, some months you patrol and some months you don't. And if you can make it all the way through May 1945 without being destroyed, which I certainly haven't done yet, uh, then you can see how you did, but more likely you'll be blown up somewhere else and you can just kind of total up your tonnage and see if uh, posthumously you were recognized for being a great captain. And pretty much everything in the game you need can be run from the many reference sheets in it. So uh, first you'll roll, almost everything is 2d6 in the game, so first you'll roll for your patrol assignment based on what time of year it is. Remember we're in 1943 July. And then you'll see whichever patrol you get, you'll put your sub-token on the first space there, and basically you'll go through each space, seeing if you encounter something until you come back to base. And for those encounters, you'll find wherever you are, so let's say I'm in North America, and uh, you'll roll again 2d6, and you'll see what you encounter. And the main things you might find, aircraft just means you get shot, you can't possibly get any points from that. Ship or tanker means you find a ship by itself, that's basically the uh, gold you're looking for because they aren't defended. But more often you'll find a convoy or ships with an escort, which means if you shoot at one of the ships there, they will actively try to hunt you down and probably blow you to smithereens. And you'll see how combat works when we get to it, but basically you decide how many torpedoes you want to fire. They each have a chance of hitting, you roll to see how much damage they do if you sink the thing, and then uh, you roll to see if you're detected, and you'll roll to see if they hurt you, and you'll roll and you'll roll and you'll roll. You get the idea. Let's just uh, get into it and see how doomed our ship does. So first, because of my increased rank, every patrol I can roll, and if I get a one, I get to pick where I go. No luck. So let's see where I am going. A three. That's low. Don't know if that's good or bad. All right, so I'm going to the Atlantic Ocean, and the W means it's a wolf pack patrol, which means it's me and a couple other submarines kind of working together. So I'll take my boat and go over to the Atlantic, and you'll see my first box says Transit Bay of Biscay. So basically because I'm coming from France, I have to go through the bay before I can get kind of out into the Atlantic. And each of these squares just means I roll for an encounter. So for Bay of Biscay, you'll see I just want to avoid a 2 through 5, because that will mean an aircraft attacks me. Beautiful. Now I go to a regular transit box, and that 2 only has a chance for aircraft, although less of a chance. And oh, we were close to a 12, but we're good. And now I get into the actual Atlantic. Now, later on, once I've got the snorkel uh, device installed, I can make a choice between kind of keeping a lower profile or not. But right now I'm just going to stay up near the top of the water and see what I see. And we got an 11 again, which for the Atlantic means a pup kiss. Anytime you get just a line like that, it means you didn't find anything. Okay, second box. Five. That's nothing again. Third box. Five. Okay, I mean, this is good. I'm not getting blown up. <laughs> Final box of the Atlantic before I head back to France. A four. And that is also a whole lot of nothing. Okay, let's hope I don't get blown up by airplanes. I'm good. And finally, back to the Bay of Biscay. So I went above a five. Uh-oh. So some aircraft are coming to attack me. So what I do now is I'm going to roll. I want an eight or more to not get hit. That means I uh, dive to where they can't reach me. And we look for modifiers. It will get worse in 1944 and 1945. Uh, but for now, I don't have the Naxos device or snorkel yet. So basically, there's no modifiers. I just need that eight or more. Come on, come on, come on, dive. Oh, oh, seven. No. All right, so I will have to suffer one attack. I'll show you that in a second. And I get a crew injury because uh, I was not down low in the water. So my crew, uh, some of them were on the uh, top of the boat. So I'll roll two white dice and one black die. The uh, two white dice will tell me who got hurt and the black die will tell me how badly. So that is just my generic crew lightly wounded. That doesn't really matter at all. The only thing that could have mattered is if one of my named officers was seriously wounded or killed. But I still have to see if they blow me up. So they are going to shoot at us with a plus two modifier because we're on the surface. But first they roll a single d6. If they get a one, they do a special attack, which could blow me up in one blow. They did not. That's good. Now we see how many hits they dealt. Seven. So with plus two, that goes to nine to ten. Three hits. Let's see where we got shot. So for this one, we're rolling a two d6. And you'll see each combination, because you do the tens digit and the ones digit, will result in a different device. We'll say uh, white is ten, black is ones. So we got a flooding result. My first electric engine, so flooding comes down here. And finally, 61. 
which means my hydrophones are damaged. Now, any combat round where I took at least one point of flooding damage, I have to roll, and on a five to six, I take one more. Flooding isn't too bad. It's temporary. As long as I don't go all the way here to where I have to surface and uh, blow all the water out, uh, it all goes away at the end of this combat. But these other two, uh, both the electric engine and the hydrophones, mean I can't maneuver as well, which means if I get attacked again, they'll have a big modifier to do even more damage to me. But the good thing is planes only have one torpedo to attack you with, so you do have to roll to see if they bring in more people, because basically they follow you for a while. So I'm going to roll again, and I want above a five, and if I can get that, I'm safe. Come on, come on, come on, bring it home. Yes, barely. So the flooding goes away automatically. I could have uh, tried to roll for each of these to see if I repair them. But remember, I always have one month of refit automatically. I have one extra month of refit for every uh, three or part thereof damage on my hull, and I have none. And I also have an extra month if I have three or more systems damaged, so it doesn't even really matter here. I'm going to be fine no matter what. So my first foray into the Atlantic, a total failure. I did not sink anything. And then I have a month of refit before I go out again in September. Now my crew does get replaced automatically, and light wounds go away anyway, even on any of your crew. I do have to roll to see if they take away my gun again, and they do. So now I just have some extra flak to hopefully shoot down airplanes in the future. Oh, you know, I just realized I should have tried to shoot down that uh, airplane. I would have gotten an attack attempt before I uh, had to run with them following me, but didn't matter in the end. Now, because we are past August of 43, I'm going to get some uh, slightly better uh, homing torpedoes. But besides that, I'm not going to change anything. Let's just go out again. Where am I patrolling this time? An eight. The Atlantic, but no wolf pack to back me up. All right, here we go. I've done this before. Let's check the Bay of Biscay. Good, above a five. No danger this time. Basic transit box. Also okay. And now we're out in the Atlantic. Let's see if we can find something to attack. Seven. Oof, it's a convoy, which means it will have escorts. But if you look at the Atlantic, there's basically no result that would have uh, some little weenie ship by itself. So... Might as well go for it. So first thing I do is I roll to see whether it's day or night. Looks like it'll be night. I like that. And next, a convoy has four ships in it plus the escort. So I'm going to roll uh, four dice and see how many small freighters, large freighters, and tankers we have. So let's see. We'll have uh, two small freighters, a large freighter. Okay, three small freighters. Now, if you want to use them, they have these D100 charts with like actual ships and how many tons they were. But they also have an optional rule where you can just say all the small freighters are 3,500 tons and all the large freighters are 7,000 and the uh, tankers are 9,000. And that's faster, so I like that. And they have this little combat mat you can use to keep track of everybody. So uh, in this case, we know that the small freighters will all need to take two damage. You'll see 1,000 to 5,000 tons. And again, they're 3,500. The large freighter would need three damage to sink, but we worth twice as much for me. So how this works first is I decide how close I want to get. It can be a close, medium, or long range. I'll have an easier chance of hitting, but it's also harder to escape detection from the escorts afterwards. And if I go to close range, before I even get to shoot my torpedoes, I have to roll to see if they detect me. So I'm definitely not doing that. In fact, like I said, this game is super deadly, so I'm just going to go all the way to long range, uh, shoot like all my torpedoes at them, and run the heck out of here if I can. Now, I've got four torpedoes loaded in my forward tubes, one in my aft tube. I can shoot as many of those as I want, but if I shoot from both forward and aft, I'm going to give them an easier time finding me because I'm kind of, uh, I guess, triangulating my own uh, position. So I'm just going to shoot all four of these bad boys. Now, each torpedo, if it hits, has about a 50-50 chance of doing two damage, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll spread these out. Yeah, let's ignore the uh, heavy freighter, the large freighter, and do two on this small freighter and one on each of these and to see if we get lucky. So, of course, there's a chart. You'll see at long range we need a six or less to hit. It would be even worse if we were firing electric torpedoes, but like you saw, I'm just using a steam and homing. And my homing torpedoes always hit on a six or less, but here that doesn't matter because that's what I need anyway. So I'm going to roll for each torpedo, looking for that six or less. I'm also going to roll a black die with each one, because even if I hit on a one, that torpedo was a dud. You always have a chance of that. So uh, if I roll a one, then it won't matter anyway. So my first torpedo, that's a miss. On the second small freighter, ooh, that is a hit, not a dud. I like it. So now I'm going to roll 1d6 for how much damage is dealt. On a four or more, I only do one, which won't sink this because I only shot one torpedo out of it. But on a one, two, or three, I'll do two, three, or four damage, and any of those will be enough to sink this. Come on, come on, come on. No, he's only injured. So I move him down to the one damage spot, but he's not to where he's sunk yet. And finally, the ship that got double the love. Uh, that is a miss for the first torpedo. 
And a mo oh, that's actually a hit for the second one. Let's see if I can do enough damage. Come on. No, oh, only one damage again. Now, before I get a chance to reload my torpedoes and take another shot at those two injured ones, I have to let the escorts come and try to find me. But I do have a few options to increase my chances because they are very nasty in this game. Uh, I'm going to exceed the test depth of my submarine. Just take it a little bit deeper. Now, whenever you do that, you take one automatic hull damage. And additionally, you have to roll 2d6. And if you roll below the amount of hull damage you've taken, so like if I had three and I rolled snake eyes, then your uh, ship just explodes and you're done. Or I guess implodes? I'm not sure about the C. And if you roll exactly your hull damage, like let's say again I rolled snake eyes here, you take one damage and you roll again. But I don't have to even roll this time because with just one hull damage, I can't possibly be hit. I'm also going to fire off one of my bold decoys. This will give me a minus one modifier for this entire series of them depth charging for me. And I said series because how this works is they roll to detect me, and if they do, they attack, and then they roll to detect me again and attack again. I cannot get away and stop them from blasting me with bombs until I finally get an undetected result. And here, let's see, I need a five or less normally to be undetected. But because I shot from long range, it's a six or less. Because I exceeded test depth, it's a seven or less. And because I used a bold decoy, it's an eight or less. So I have a decent shot of getting away. Aha, awesome. Okay, so they have not found me. I have evaded their depth charges. So technically now the encounter is over. I could have tried to repair things if their depth charges had damaged me, but they didn't. You can't repair hull, by the way, until you get back to base. I could advance into the next box of the Atlantic, or I can try to follow the ships that got damaged. And I definitely want to do that. Now, since I damaged some of them, they're slowed down, and I can follow them automatically. And I roll a 1d6. On a 1 through 5, they still have their escort, but on a 6, they got left behind in a callous move. Ah, no such luck. But the undamaged ships did get away with the majority of the escort, so I just have these two small freighters to go after. And I forgot to say, I can reload my torpedoes. Let's get all my steams ready. And because they're damaged, I can choose my time of engagement. Let's make it night again, so I don't have to worry about the steam giving me away. And long range worked pretty well, so let's just fire my full slew of uh, forward torpedoes. Try to take these guys out. So same as before, a six or less. Our first guy hit with the first torpedo. Any amount of damage will kill him, so we don't have to roll it. And our second guy, the first torpedo, nothing. And the second torpedo, nothing. Oh, man, he got away again. So we did sink our first ship for 3,500 tons. But we once again have to see if we can escape. Let's use our second bull to take some hull damage again. The bull does last for the entire encounter, but don't forget we're in technically a new encounter. We followed the ships for a while. Okay, let's see if we roll snake eyes and increase our hull damage. No, we're okay. And let's see if they find us. We need an eight or less again. Oh, beautiful, just barely. And I get to reload my torpedoes. I only have electrics left. Do we chase this guy one more time? Yeah, I think we do. Let's see if he still has an escort. He does. All right, so we'll do night. Uh, oh, if I do long range with my electrics, I'll barely be able to hit him. Well, whatever. There's a pretty good chance this is the only uh, target I'm going to find. So we'll still do long range with electrics. That means I need a, gosh, a four to hit him. Uh, but if even one can get him, we're good. So we're shooting all four of our remaining forward torpedoes. Okay, it's a miss for the first one. Barely a miss for the second one. Barely a miss for the third one. Okay, that would have been a dud anyway. All right, this guy's definitely getting away. Feeling a little silly now for doing that. But can we get away? We'll fire off our last bull to go below test depth. Okay, and we don't blow up automatically. Now let's see if they find us. Oh no, they do! So let's roll and see how many hits they get on me. That is only one hit, not too bad. And where did they hit me? On my hull. Ooh, I am now into the second set of three boxes, which means I'll need two extra uh, days of refitting. Okay, I'll try to escape again, but they get a permanent minus one bonus once they've detected me once. And then I need a seven to escape. Oh, they're getting me again. How many hits? Okay, seven, that's two hits. Okay, 45 and 14. It's my hull again, and my periscope is damaged. And if it stays that way, I won't be able to attack while submerged. Okay, still trying to escape. Ah, oh, here we go. Seven or less, we finally get away. And we're certainly not going to follow this time. Let's roll to see if we repair our periscope. Now, on this one chart, you have every effect of things and also what you need to repair it. So I get a single D6. I need a one through four. If I get it, it's repaired like nothing ever happened. Ah, but in that case, it is totally inoperable until I get back to base. So that uh, is a dead periscope. But not that I thought I was going to attack anyway. Let's see if we can survive. So we have three more boxes of the Atlantic to get through. 
Okay, and a six is a convoy, but you can always just ignore them, so I'm not even going to try to attack it. Uh, what is that? A seven, also a convoy. Bye-bye. And another seven. So that gets me through all three. I'm just going in transit. Don't get attacked by airplanes. Beautiful. And this is where we got shot last time. I do not want that to happen again. No, we're good. So yay, it was the most mildly successful patrol possible, but it still counts as a win. So here we go. In September, I sank 3,500 tons. But because I had five hull damage, I'm going to take a three-month refit instead of one month. So it looks like I'll be uh, coming out in 1944 when the airplanes are more dangerous. Lovely. Now, this does mean that I'm automatically fitted with the uh, Naxos device, which will make airplanes a little less dangerous when I'm on the surface. Not bad. But that's honestly about it that's uh, changing, so I'm just going to get my loadout back. So let's see what fun they have planned for me this time. A nine. And since it's 1944, I have a new column. Ah, North America, something a little different. Although not too different, I still have the same Bay of Biscay, but then the big thing is I have three transit boxes to get through on both ways back, and only three turns where I'm actually in North America where I can find some ships to sink. All right, airplanes, stay away from me. Six, yeah, with a five, that was dangerous, so nice. Okay, one, two, three, transit. We just don't want the extreme numbers. Fine, fine. Okay, we cannot be touched by airplanes. So we're actually going into North America. Let's see, a four. Convoy. But look, this time we actually have a little bit of a chance of getting something that does not have an escort. Oh, what the hey, we survived last time. I guess we can go for it. So we're going to start out in day. If I want to switch to night, which I think I do with all my steam torpedoes, I have to roll on a one to four, I switch. On a five to six, I lose the targets. Ah, okay, well, I guess I'm not fighting that convoy. Let's go for the second uh, North America box, a seven. That is a whole lot of nothing. Oh man, I might just come up empty again. Third and final one. A six again. Oh, I said again, but no, I've not rolled this. This is the best possible result. This is an unescorted single ship. Oh, let's hope it's a six and it's a big tanker. Ooh, a large freighter, I'll take it. Yeah, and this is way better than what you saw before because uh, since there's no one escorting them, we can get right to close range and no danger. Let's roll for day or night. Okay, it's night. Good. Right, so heck, that means I can do a night surface attack and get the uh, plus one bonus. And I can also shoot as many torpedoes as I want. So, I mean, yeah, this is the last chance I'm going to get to shoot something. Let's shoot every single one of these guys. So with it being close range and a night surface torpedo, I need to hit on a nine or less. So first of five. Uh, yes, and it's not a dud. Didn't get a one. Let's roll for damage. Oof. It is already three damage, so I guess one out of five torpedoes was enough. Much better luck there than last time. Oh, well, hey, that was a lot easier. Let's see if we can get through the transit without airplanes shooting us. Okay, first of three. Okay, 11 is fine. We need a 12. It's a two, three, or 12. Second, fine. Third, fine. And last, the Bay of Biscay. We're okay. Wow, look at that. That was a nice, simple little patrol. So that is 9,000 tons and just one month of refitting. And now we are going to get the snorkel, which can make us even safer from airplanes, although we have to uh, go under the water where we won't be able to find a lot of ships to attack. But we can make that choice before each space we move into. So usually I'll do it like in the transit boxes and then uh, not snorkel when I get to uh, where I can actually attack some ships. Now there's still no other way for me or my crew to upgrade. My crew can upgrade every time we have three successful patrols. That was our second one. And I can upgrade after every year of service, so if I can get to July of 44. All right, so no time to rest. Ooh, I've been forgetting to roll to see if I can pick my patrol. And I can't. <laughs> so uh, let's see, an eight. Oh, the Atlantic in a wolf pack again, fine. Okay, Bay of Biscay, I'm all right. Single transit, yes. Let's see who I find in the Atlantic. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have said, I would have been snorkeling there, but I won't be here so I can see as many ships as possible. Four. That is a whole lot of nothing. Let's do it again. It is a big ocean. Four again. Nothing. Eight. Oh, no, an aircraft. All right, now I do have the Naxos now, which means I can uh, get away on a seven or more instead of an eight or more, but it's minus one if we're in 1944, so it's still an eight or more. Come on, dive, dive, dive. Oh, what is it? What is it? That looks good. Yes, an eight. We escape. And our last tour in the Atlantic. Well, I don't want to say that. A seven. Ah, there we go. A convoy. So the only effect of a wolf pack, it's pretty minor. We roll a d6. On a one through five, we have a bonus of one to uh, not being detected because they're looking at the other subs around us. On a six, they focus on us. So we'll get a little bonus to uh, not be detected. Now let's see what time of day. It is night. Nice. Let's roll for our ship sizes. So let's see. That's a small and large. 
And another small and large, so still no tankers. All right, so how close do I want to get? Ah, what the heck, let's go for medium this time. I really want to hit these guys and blow them up, so I'll be in medium. Let's remember I'm on my last Atlantic space. And let's fire a full spread again. But let's do two on each large freighter. Oh, and I should have said, I forgot about this, there's a small chance whenever a fat torpedo misses its target when there's a convoy that they'll hit something else. So we'll check that this time. So actually, let's split our homing torpedoes. There we go. All right, homing torpedo. That's definitely a miss. And the fat torpedo, that's a hit. So let's roll for damage. Just one damage. Again, the other large freighter, homing torpedo. It's a dud, so it doesn't matter. And, oh, it misses. So let's roll to see if it hits somebody else. Nope. So wow, only one guy damage. So let's see. Uh, medium, I'm not going to be helped at all, but I will go ahead and use a bold decoy and uh, exceed my test depth. So that'll be one haul damage again. So I need a seven or less to escape. Yes. No reload. Definitely going to follow our one guy. Let's see if he gets a... Uh, oh, he lost his escort. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I am fired all four of these. I do not think he'll survive. I'll get in close. Okay, that's a hit. And there we go. He is dead. All right, just got to survive my two transit boxes. Good on that one. Bay of Biscay. Good on that. Wow. I'm sorry. Now that should have been 7,000 for last time. We got 7,000 again. And it's going to be two months of refit from our hull getting damaged. You know, whoops, I shouldn't get the snorkel automatically. I have to roll for it. So it's a, a one out of six. This would have been for last time. Oh, and I got it. Never mind. I'm good. And hey, with three successful patrols, I get to roll and see how I level up. A six, that means my crew increases their skill. So they are now veterans, which I'm sure is going to help me in some amazing way. <laughs> All right, so we do one more in June of 44. Sure. Six. Oh, no. I think we might die. <laughs> So we're doing an invasion special patrol. But yeah, look at this. Uh, we're gonna do the Atlantic, but every time we roll a null result, it's actually an automatic aircraft encounter. And also if we find any ships, we have to attack them or we could be like executed or uh, court-martialed. So, okay, this is probably gonna be the end of this playthrough. But let's see how we do. We'll go ahead and be uh, snorkeling for the uh, first box. Okay, six, so we're good. Uh, same thing for the regular transit. We are okay. Now, Okay, I guess we'll go toward the surface to look for boats. Six. Okay, it's a convoy, but we need to attack them. So let's see what time of day. It's a daytime. Let's see, I guess, ooh, I can try to change it to night, and if they get away, it's not my fault, right? Ah, oh, but they did it. <laughs> they are still there. Okay, and sizes. Oh, we got a tanker. That's a six. A small freighter. Uh, okay, three small freighters and a tanker. Definitely think I'll do long range. I know I'm going to shoot all my uh, torpedoes at the tanker because that's the big prize. So I'm not going to worry about the small uh, people right now. Do I want to surface for the night to get the bonus? I think I do. Everything I can. So let's see. Minus one for the night surface torpedo. I think that's all that applies. So I'll need a seven or less for each one. And this guy needs three damage. Uh, same as the uh, big freighters to be taken down. Okay. First of four. Ah, dud. Second of four. Hits. And, okay, two damage, so he only needs one more. Third of four hits, so he is sunk. Don't even need to roll for the fourth one. Actually, no, I guess I should have said whether they were fats or homing, because I could have hit one of the other ones, but we'll just uh, let it go and see if we sunk the tanker. All right, shoot off our bold decoy, exceeds uh, test depth, try to escape. Uh, but since it was a night surface attack, they're plus one and then a uh, minus three, so that means that I need a seven or less. Yes, wow, okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's do three more of those. Oh, I can't imagine that's good. Or maybe it is a capital ship. All right, now this one I have to roll for because they have different amounts of life and uh, different uh, special abilities and stuff. And this is like the only time you bust out a D20 in this game. A 20? Uh, okay. So this is the USS New York. I think that means battleship. 27,000 tons? Five health? <laughs> And I gotta shoot at it or I get court-martialed. All right, let's go for it. Capital ships automatically have an escort. Uh, you can't follow them. Okay, so that means it's daytime. So I can't try to switch it to night. Uh, they would just get away automatically. All right, so I didn't look for the specific ship. We'll just have the uh, trouncer be a stand-in. And hey, if I can sink this guy, then I get the Knight's Cross. You know what? We're going to medium range. And uh, I guess we don't have to be on the surface because it doesn't give us a bonus since it's not nighttime anyway. And we were shooting all five of our torpedoes instead of just four. Let's do this. So 
So they will get a bonus to find us from me shooting aft and forward, but I don't care. Okay, so these are a seven or less each, and I fired five. Okay, ah, dud for the first one. Second hit. Four. Ooh, I think that's, what is that, two damage, three damage? That's indeed three damage. So I get three more torpedoes to uh, finish him off for his last two damage. Third one. Ooh, it's a hit. And, oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Now we just need to escape. So we'll see test depth again. Let's see if we get hurt. Nope, we're good. Fire off a bold. So let's see. Minus two. We weren't on the surface. It wasn't close range. Oh, crud. I did use G7A torpedoes during the day. And I did shoot from uh, both front and back, right? Yeah, so that's plus one. That's plus two. But the plus one for me shooting uh, front and back is only for the first round of them rolling. But still, this is probably going to be bad. So I think I need a five or less to not be detected. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, that's not going to do it. Roll for how many hits? Seven is two hits. So let's uh, roll to see where they got me. Oh, and shoot, I'm supposed to be rolling for a special attack. On a one, they would do a special attack. I definitely forgot that several times. Okay, 41 and 24. So that's my hull. And one of my two flat guns. Don't care too much about that. All right, now we try again, and it's still a five or less because the uh, forward and aft bonus went away, but they get a bonus for previously detecting me. Uh, so, oh, should I exceed surface depth again? Otherwise, it would be a uh, four or less. Yes. I mean, I'll die if I roll a three or less, but I'm probably fine. I'm okay. All right, so we need a five or less. Come on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got away. All right, so I only have one bolt left. I have a few torpedoes left. Now, it says I'm not allowed to abort and go back to transit until I've taken at least one unrepairable damage. So I think my hull damage counts. So let's get the heck out of here and just roll for two transit, and I'll go back to uh, snorkeling. Okay, I'm okay for that one. Bay of Biscay. Okay for that. Wow. So I survived the invasion, and what did I sink? Wow, between the uh, New York and the tanker? 36,000 tons. <laughs> now, it will be a refit of three months because of my hull damage. That also means France is no longer a base. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. All right, so for sinking a capital ship, I get awarded a Knight's Cross. So that's cool. I think it helps me uh, shoot my torpedoes better. And it's been at least a year, so I get to roll for promotion. Um, I don't have enough ships sunk to get a bonus. I do get a bonus for getting the Knight's Cross, but I get a penalty for having one unsuccessful tour. So I just need a one through four. No promotion. All right, so I think I'm still leaving from France, but I'll come back to Norway. Only got a time for a few more patrols. Let's see, a 10. I'm going to the Arctic. Okay, I guess that makes sense. If I'm gonna be going to Norway in a second. Oh, interesting, Arctic is a special case. I have to roll when I get assigned there. And if I get a one to three, I'm gonna stay there forever. But no, I guess I'll still go to Norway in a second. All right, we'll go ahead and snorkel through the Bay of Biscay. And ooh, we are getting an aircraft encounter. Okay, it is 1944, but we are snorkeling, so we have a plus one overall. We need a seven or more. Yes, we got away. Okay, transit. Fine. And all right, let's see what the heck the Arctic has to offer us. Five? That's nothing, but let's see. We could get a ship on a three, some aircraft. It's kind of empty, though. Eight. Oh, that's an aircraft one. All right, uh, we're not snorkeling this time. Let's see if they find us. Yes, they do. So first, our crew gets shot. That's just a light wound on our basic crew again. They're rolling for their attack. They only get a plus one. Oh my gosh, that's a 12. Five hits on me. Oh, this could be bad. Okay, first is a 16. It's my electric engine again. And then 62. My rear torpedo tour. 22. My other electric engine. I have to imagine that's bad to have none of those. 55. And my hull. I'm okay with that. 24. Uh, one of my flat guns. Oops, I forgot to uh, fix that after my last patrol, so now it's down. Once again, I forgot to roll for the special attack. Oh, wait! So they didn't actually do any of that? They shot a special thing at me? All right, let's see. This could be very bad. A four is a Fido homing torpedo. On a one, I'm sunk. On a two, I take seven hits. On a three through six, they miss. Oh, no! No! Oh, my gosh. Oh, they shot me with a homing torpedo. Okay, so forget all the damage I took. I am blown up. By far my most promising game of this ever, but in October of 1944, I am destroyed. Man. But I did sink, gosh, 43, 50, 53,500 tons. Well, let's see. There we go. Substantial victory. Barely made it over the line for that. Not a decisive victory, but 
pretty darn good. Uh, definitely my best game of this ever. Sad that I got hit by a special torpedo at the last second. So there you go, that was The Hunted. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see my review of the game, click the link that just popped up and hear my thoughts. Good gaming, everyone, and I'll see you at the next stop.